welcome to day eight of our Advent devotions. The Lord is here. He is in this place, and I didn't know it. A reading from Genesis chapter 28. Jacob left Beersheba and started towards Haran. At sunset, he came to a holy place and camped there. He lay down to sleep, resting his head on a stone. He dreamed that he saw a stairway reaching from earth to heaven, with angels going up and coming down on it. And there was the Lord standing beside him. I am the Lord, the God of Abraham and Isaac, he said. I will give to you and your descendants this land on which you are lying. They will be as numerous as the specks of dust on the earth. They will extend their territory in all directions. And through you and your descendants, I will bless all the nations. Remember, I will be with you and your descendants, and I will bless all the nations. Remember, I will be with you and protect you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land, and I will not leave you until I've done all that I have promised you. Jacob woke up and said, The Lord is here. He is in this place, and I didn't know it. He was afraid and said, What a terrifying place this is this. It must be the house of God. It must be the gate that opens to heaven. Have you ever had a strange dream? What's the weirdest dream that you can remember? Today we read about Jacob's weird dream, a dream about a ladder and a load of angels is, a pretty, is pretty out there. Yet God speaks to him through this dream, reminding him that he will always be with him and always keep him safe. God knew that Jacob might be a bit worried, but, he wanted, but wanted to remind him that it would always be there for him. Isn't it good to know that? Even when we sleep, God watches over us, and like Jacob, he will always be with us. He keeps his promises. And remember, next time you have a dream, be open to God speaking to you through it. Let us pray. God, thank you that you will always be with us and that you are faithful. Whenever we are worried or weary, help us to trust in your promises. Amen. What was the last dream you had? What can you remember about it? And how did it make you feel? What might God have been teaching you through it? Why not keep a notebook and pen by your bed? And if you remember a dream when you wake up, Jot it down. If you're an energetic type, why not go for some playful silliness and do some supervised racing up and down the stairs? As you're recovering your breath, have a ponder about what on earth and off it these angels were up to.